Greetings, YouTube. As some of you might remember, I had an encounter on Friday with a conservative person that really rather negatively affected me. And I'm actually still dealing with the aftermath of that event. Still trying to wrap my head around a person with that particular worldview. Yesterday, I saw a thread online that dealt with some of the teabagger persons who are having a protest in Washington the, the last weekend. They're protesting health care. And I'm baffled why you would protest against something that's going to benefit us all. But what's really profoundly confusing is that they seem to be protesting things that haven't happened. Things that are potential possible future events, most of which are not founded in any kind of reality that's ever going to see uh, fruition. But it isn't stopping them from getting frothing mad and making the world look like absolute insanity. And I'm trying to figure out how the conservative and the liberal parties can find a common ground. Because we need to. We can't just keep yelling and screaming at each other. It isn't going to get anything accomplished which I actually think is the point behind the conservative leadership. Keep things confused and muddy so that when push comes to shove, nothing gets changed. But I don't want that to happen. I want to see change. I want to see a true single-payer healthcare system in America. The public option they're talking about at the moment is a watered-down version of that, but it would be better than nothing. And I've been thinking about why the conservatives have a different point of view than the liberals do. What, how do they differ? And I've come to the conclusion that the conservative point of view is exclusive. It's built around exclusivity, but around the concept that everyone inside here is one of us, and everyone outside there is one of them. And I can almost understand the appeal of that. That sense that you've been accepted into this group. The sense that you belong to something. Something greater than yourself, but yet still the chosen few. And there's a certain appeal to that. I mean, it's like being invited to the, to the you know, country club. Yeah, it costs you money to get in, but you had to be invited now, didn't you? And then I see the liberal point of view as being inclusive. And in the case of healthcare, at least from the point of view of this particular liberal, the subset of people included in that is the entire population of America, conservatives included. See, my worldview would accept them into the fold they would benefit from a universal health care just as everyone else would, even though they would probably hate every single second involved in the process. They would probably think it very distasteful that, wow, you know, we have a health care system that works and it costs us less money, but we didn't come up with the idea. And I would love to have a solution to this. I really, truly would. But I don't have one. I don't know how to shake someone out of an exclusive worldview and change their point of view till it becomes inclusive and it begins to realize that we're all in this together whether you like it or not whether you want your neighbor next door to be part of the process or not we're in this together we have to cooperate we have to function as a society and the conservatives are just trying to drive wedges between people as fast as they can they're throwing so much disinformation, so many lies out into the world, all in the hopes that it will keep things confused. But we need this. We need to find a common ground between us all. We need to find a way to achieve a healthcare system that will take care of us today, tomorrow, and forever. Because the one we have right now is broken. 
one we have right now is going to fail. And when it fails, it's going to tear everything we've ever known completely apart. It's going to make the last year of financial collapse look like a drop in the bucket. It won't just possibly lead to the next depression, it will lead to the next depression. But then I'm stuck with the words ringing in my head about someone telling me they would just be just be just as happy as if the 46 million people who don't have health insurance in this king, country would just die. How do I reconcile with that? How do I come to grips with that? How do I get to the person that says that and let them understand that they need to shelve their ideology so that we all can just survive? I wish I had an answer. I really do.